Alright guys, really quick, I just wanted to make it clear that yesterday's video was not a knock on Matt, okay? One thing that you guys don't know about Matt, and but those of us who have interacted with him on a frequent basis, is that Matt is a really, really smart dude. Way smarter than you guys give him credit for. And besides the fact that he has a lot of just base horsepower up here, dude's emotional intelligence, his mental elasticity, which... To be quite honest, I think that stuff is just as important when it comes to being successful and happy um, in your life. Well, he has just m more of that than just most people regardless of age have. And it wasn't a knock on him. Because if we have an issue with one of our athletes, we simply just address it ourselves. That simple. This YouTube channel is to help out all those other people who we are not coaching on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Okay, It's a good way to just put information out there to the masses information that we believe is good. So that information, not from Matt, because if that's an issue with Matt, we just let him know, and we did let him know. But we let him know before that. So this YouTube channel is to help you guys who are not being coached by 3D Muscle Journey, just to hopefully uh, throw some ideas at you guys that uh, could be of use. One second, I'm going to check my pizza, make sure it's not burned. Just one second, guys. And I will get that recipe out really soon. I'm sorry about the last video. Okay, so what I did want to talk about today was the fact that yesterday I brought up one very important point is that you signed up for this. No one else signed up for the show, okay? So when you decide that you're going to sacrifice to win, when you decide that you want to do a bodybuilding contest, that doesn't mean that everyone else does it with you. And one of my proudest achievements in 2011, which was the last year I decided to compete, was the fact that I was able to balance everything else. That bodybuilding was as simple as just checking everything off my list, train hard, practice your posing, and count everything you're eating. So I did all those things, and I kept up with all the other things that I do in my life. I didn't bring my family with me. I didn't bring my uh, friends down with me. I, I, I didn't, you know, I kept up my performance at work, which was the most important thing to me. Because last time that I was dieting for a show, I was working in an elementary school. And those kids meant the world to me. And I didn't want to sacrifice performance. I didn't want to, you know, sacrifice their education, their playtime, or just be in a cranky mood with them. And I recall when I was bringing it up to my supervisor that I needed to find a substitute because in a few weeks I was going to go compete my first show that season. I think everyone around me was really surprised about the fact that I had lost 20 pounds, that I had got myself ready to compete in a bodybuilding show, and they never even took notice. That felt really good. And this is totally different from how it had been in the past. And really, real quick story, I'm not going to hold you guys up too long, but in 2008... This was my first show in 2008, and I remember being backstage, and it was late into the night show, and just looking around, and everyone just looked jacked, lean, impressive, and there I was in my dream tan, just, fuck, sorry, but that's how I felt. And I felt that way because up until that point, you know, I had cut off a lot of friends. I had, you know, dropped my, dropped the ball on a lot of things outside of bodybuilding. For what? You know, I was there ready to get my third or fourth place trophy and go home and, you know, have to deal with all the stuff that I had been uh, just putting on the back burner. I ended up winning the show. I ended up winning my division, the overall, they even gave me a most muscular award by some miracle. But, you know, I could have easily have said that, hey, you know, that, that stuff works. But no, I didn't ever want to feel that way again. And from that point on, I made sure that I checked off my list and that was pretty much it. I made it a priority, you know, to be a good son, brother, uh, friend, and, and all that. So, check off the list, count your macros, work your butt off. But don't just work your butt off when it comes to bodybuilding. Um, do, do it outside of that. And you know what? If anything, it's going to make you more effective, not only when it comes to what you present on stage, but just everything else in life.